Hi students, today we are starting the second chapter, the inverse trigonometric functions. We know that there are six uh, trigonometric functions. They are sine x, uh, cos x, tan x, and their reciprocal functions cosec x, sec x, and uh, cot x. Similarly, there are six uh, inverse circular functions. They are sine inverse x, sine inverse x, cos inverse x tan inverse x and uh, cosec inverse x, sec inverse x and uh, cot inverse x. There are six uh, inverse t functions or inverse circular functions, isn't it? The principal value of sin inverse x tan inverse x and uh, cosec inverse x are lying in this field are lying in between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 and uh, they are in first and uh, fourth quadrants and the principal values of cos inverse x, sec inverse x and uh, cot inverse x are lying in between 0 and uh, 1 here and these functions lies in between first and fourth quadrants and uh, these functions are lying in between first and second quadrants, isn't it? Now we are going to find the domain and range. Range means principal value of these functions. Function domain and range. sin inverse x the domain is minus 1 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 is it second function cos inverse x this domain is also 1 1 And the uh, range is 0, pi. Close the inner one, 0. Third uh, inverse function is tan inverse x. Its domain is r. r means that the real number is minus infinity to plus infinity. r or minus infinity to plus infinity. And uh, its principal value lies in between. Minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, but it is in the open inner one. So minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 are not included here. And the fourth bar inverse function is cosec inverse x. Its principal domain R domain is set of R difference of minus 1 1. R difference minus 1 1 and uh, its range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 excluding 0 and uh, fifth inverse circular function is sec inverse x the 
domain of the second row sex is also same as the second row sex that is r minus minus 1 1 and uh, this is 0 pi excluding pi by 2 and last function is cosec 4 inverse x 6 to 1 is 4 inverse x its domain is also r or minus infinity to plus infinity and its rate is open interval is open these are the domain and rate or principal values of inverse circular functions isn't it you should uh, practice this for doing problems The first type of question is find the principal value of the following inverse circular functions. For this, we have a shortcut to find the principal value of the function. Not one. For sine inverse x, cosine inverse x and tan inverse x the principal values the principal values or ranges lie in between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 that is this is first quadrant pi by 2 this is minus pi by 2 a spot and then the fourth quadrant if sin inverse x, cosec inverse x and tan inverse x, if x is positive, then it is theta. And if x is negative, then it is minus theta. These are the principal value of sin inverse x, cosec inverse x and tan inverse x. Let us illustrate it with an example. Find the principal value of first question sine inverse 1 by 2 sine inverse 1 by 2 let O is equal to sine inverse 1 by 2 so sine O is equal to 1 by 2 sin y is equal to half that is sin 30 sin 30 is sin 5 by 6 therefore we is equal to 5 by 6 5 by 6 uh, is in first order so we can say that y is sin inverse half which implies that sin inverse half is equal to pi by 6 which is lying in between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 isn't it the sin inverse half is pi by 6 now if you know the value of sin inverse half that is if x is positive then principal value is pi by 6 that is in first quadrant if x is negative then the principal value lies in fourth order that is minus theta, isn't it? So we can easily find therefore sin inverse minus half is minus pi by 6. If sin inverse half is pi by 6, if sin inverse half is theta, sin inverse minus half is minus theta. So similarly. 
If sin inverse 1 by 3 is 5 by 6, then sin inverse minus 1 by 3 is minus 5 by 6, which is also lying between minus 5 by 2 and plus 5 by 2. Evident. In similar way, we can find cosec inverse x and tan inverse x. Let us see. Let's first place. Cosec of inverse. Prop. Let O is equal to let O is equal to cosec inverse root 2. So cosec Y is equal to root 2. Taking reciprocals on both sides, so sin y is equal to 1 by root 2. Sin y 1 by root 2 is sin 45, that is sin 5 by 4. Therefore, the value of y is equal to 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is in between minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2, excluding 0, isn't it? Excluding zero. This is the principal value of y. Y is what? Y is same as cosec inverse root 2. This is y. That is pi by 4. It is an in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Excluding the value c. Isn't it? This way we can find therefore cosec inverse minus 4. What is the value of cosec inverse minus 4? Minus 5 by 4. All these functions, if it is positive, the angle is positive, then it is theta, angle is negative, then minus theta. Similarly here, cosec inverse root 2 is 5 by 4, then cosec inverse minus 4 is minus 5 by 4. That is also in between minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2, excluding 0, isn't it? This is the Another function. Now we are going to find tan inverse x. That is also in this way. Next question is tan inverse root 2. Like y is equal to tan inverse root 3. Therefore, tan y is equal to root 3. Tan y root 3 means tan 60. Tan 60 is tan y by 3. Therefore, the value of y is equal to y by 3. Here we can eliminate tan on both sides. Y is tan inverse root 3. It implies that tan inverse root 3 is equal to y by 3. It is lying between minus y by 2 to plus y by 2. Open it. This is the principal value of tan inverse root 3. If tan inverse root 3 is pi by 3, then what about tan inverse minus root 3? That is minus pi by 2. Therefore, tan inverse minus root 3 is minus pi by 2. Isn't it? That is also in between the open interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. In similar way, we can find the values of sin inverse x, cosec inverse x, and tan inverse x. If x is positive, then its value is theta, and if x is negative, then its value is minus theta, isn't it? Similar way, not to for cos inverse x, sec inverse x, and the cot inverse x. The principal values lies in between 0 and pi. That is in first and second quadrants. Here 0 is here, pi is here. First quadrant and second quadrant. If x is positive, x is positive, 
then its value is theta. If x is negative, then it is pi minus theta. In the first case, if sin inverse, in sin inverse x, tan inverse x, and cosec inverse x, if x is positive, then theta is the principal value. And uh, if x is negative, then minus theta is the principal value. In the case of cos inverse x, sec inverse x, and cot inverse x, if x is positive, then principal value is theta. If x is negative, then it is pi minus theta, isn't it? Pi minus theta. Now let us discuss it with some examples. Find the principal value of as per strings. Cos inverse 1 by 2. Cos inverse 1 by 2. Let we is equal to cos inverse 1 by 2. Therefore, cos inverse becomes cos y is equal to 1 by 2. Cos y is 1 by 2 is cos 60. Cos 60 is cos pi by 3. So, we is equal to pi by 3. But y is cos inverse 1 by 2. It implies that cos inverse 1 by 2 is equal to pi by 3. Which is in between 0 and 5. Isn't it? Cos in the number 0 and 5. If you know the value of cos inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 3, then we can find the value of cos inverse. Therefore, cos inverse minus 1 by 2 is what about cos inverse minus x, that is pi minus theta. Here, pi minus. Here, theta is pi by 3. So, 3 pi minus pi, 2 pi by 3. 3 pi minus pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3, isn't it? Which is in between 0 and 5. 2 pi by 3 is 2 into pi by 3, 2 into 60, 120 degrees in between 0 and 120. Next question is Second moves 2 by root 3. Here let like y is equal to Second was 2 by root 3. So, sec y is equal to 2 by root 3. Now, taking the reciprocals we have. Reciprocals. Sec, reciprocal of sec is cos y is equal to here, the same problem of this is cos 3 by 2. Cos theta of 3 by 2 is cos 30. Cos pi by 6. Therefore, we have y is equal to pi by 6. y is same as sec inverse 2 by root. Therefore, sec inverse 2 divided by root 3 is equal to pi by 6, which is an element of 0 pi excluding pi by 2, isn't it? This is the principal value of sec inverse 2 by root 3. Therefore, we can find sec inverse minus 2 by root 3 is that is pi minus pi by 6 6 pi minus pi pi bar pi by 6 that is also in between 0 pi excluding pi by 2. Pi by 6 is 30, 30 into 5, 150, in between 0 and 180, uh, isn't it? Now, one more example. Cotton goes. Cotton goes 1. Let y is equal to cot inverse 1 
so odd y is equal to odd y is equal to 1 means odd 45 odd pi by 4 therefore y is equal to pi by 4 for y is cot inverse 1 therefore cot inverse 1 y is cot inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4 which is in between 0 and pi open and double 0 and pi by 4 is 45 therefore we find cos inverse cot inverse minus 1 that is pi minus pi by 4 that is 4 pi minus pi 3 pi by 4 that is in between 0 and pi isn't it this way you can find the principal value of any circular inverse function, isn't it? I have done some questions from 1 to 10. You should complete the missing questions from 1 to 10. The next question, find the value of the following function. See the Find the value of eleven to ten. Tan inverse one plus cos inverse minus half plus sin inverse minus half. Tan inverse 1 is pi by 4, cos inverse 1 by 2, cos inverse 1 by 2 is uh, pi by 3. Therefore, cos inverse minus 1 by 2 is pi minus pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3. And uh, sine inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 6. Sine inverse minus 1 by 2 is minus pi by 6. If you become thorough in this inverse circular functions, then these two steps are not necessary, isn't it? You can directly find the positive or negative angles. Here the expression is equal to tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 plus cos inverse minus half that is 2 pi by 3 then plus minus pi by 6. Here L is the LCM, 3 pi by 12, multiplying both numerator and denominator by 3. Here, multiplying by 4, 4 into 2, 8 pi by 12, plus, plus in the minus minus. Here, 2 pi by 6, 12, isn't it? Now, 3 pi plus 8 pi minus 2 pi divided by 12. 3 pi 8 pi 11 pi minus 2 pi 9 pi by 12 eliminating by 3 3 pi by 4 this is the answer isn't it now 12 questions Cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. We know that cos inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 3. Here it is pi by 3 plus 2 in u. Sin inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 6. 
So we have pi by three plus pi by three that is two pi by three. This is that is two pi by three. Isn't it? Pi plus pi two. Now for the notes, if sine was x is equal to y, then first option is a zero less than or equal to y less than or equal to y. B minus y by two. Less than or equal to y less than or equal to pi by two, and c is zero less than y less than pi, and uh, d fourth option is minus pi by two less than y less than pi by two. Here, sine inverse x is equal to y. We have to find the principal solution of sine inverse x. Principal solution means right. Sine inverse, the right of sine inverse x is minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. Both are included. So, this is the answer. Minus pi by 2 less than or equal to y less than or equal to pi by 2 is minus pi by 2 cos the interval minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. Is it? Now, for the cos. Tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse minus z equal to options are a pi b minus pi by 3 c pi by 3 and d 2 pi by 3 tan inverse root 3 is pi by 6 tan inverse root 3 is pi by 3 tan 6 is root 3 sec inverse 2 is equal to y therefore sec y is equal to 2 sec y is same as cos y is equal to 1 by 2 that is cos y by 3 so y is sec inverse 2 is equal to pi by 3 but we need sec inverse minus 1 therefore sec inverse minus 2 is equal to pi minus pi by 3 isn't it? pi minus pi by 3 applying these values we have the expression is equal to tan inverse to pi pi by 3 minus sec inverse minus 2 is pi minus pi by 3 so pi by 3 minus pi plus pi by 3 here pi by 3 minus 3 pi by 3 plus pi by 3 that is pi minus 3 pi plus pi divided by 3 2 pi minus 3 pi minus 3 by 3 this is the answer minus 3 by 3 this is the answer isn't it Again, you could understand all the things I have done here. If you find it difficult, don't hesitate to ask me, okay? Bye.